Hi guys, it's James Alex Flint. Dawn Guard has been released. It's been released today, just now. So go and get it if you haven't already. Um, but I've just been playing it and thought I'd bring you this quick video to give you my thoughts and opinions from just playing a couple of hours of it. Uh, hopefully this will persuade you to buy it because I think it is amazing. So I'm going to split this review into a few sections. I'll start off giving you my opinion on the presentation style um, and then I'll talk about the storyline, what I think of the storyline. Um, and then I'll give you my opinion on the new gameplay aspects, so the vampire lord form and crossbows, that sort of thing. I'll then talk about the new locations in the game, followed by the new weapons. Presentation quality. So there are a few things that really jumped out at me uh, visually with regards to presentation style. Um, so, for instance, the first uh, time I received a bite which would turn me into this vampire lord. When I awoke from that state I could see the the tiny dust particles reflecting the light and I could see um, the vampire uh, Lord Harkon. I could see his glowing eyes in the background with uh, Molag Baal uh, with a shrine and his his face to the left of him and it, it sort of gave this whole very gothic mood um, which was really quite effective and I just thought that was absolutely stunning. Um, and another example, I walked out of the castle Volkahar, um, and you could just see these kind of circling ravens, the birds circling in the air, um, with the mist kind of surrounding the castle. And I just thought it, it looked really, really good. Um, it looked like a lot of work had been put into trying to design something um, that would reflect the mood of the storyline. Another example is where the gargoyles change from stone into actual animals that are hostile towards you, um, and that was a really effective visual transformation. Also, I think the, the voice acting for a lot of the main characters in the DLC is actually really, really good. Um, I think very appropriate as well to the character that they're trying to portray, so I thought that was excellent. So, um, one more thing that springs to mind when I think about presentation style. Uh, just a little something that I noticed. When you're speaking to the Lord of the Vampires, Lord Harkon, you can see, instead of being very static and just looking towards you, he actually walks uh, from left to right. So there's a new animation that they've uh, incorporated there, which is quite a nice addition. So now, onto the storyline. So the storyline is quite dark and gothic, as you'd imagine from seeing the trailer. You can side with the vampires, um, which is what I'm doing actually, or you can kind of side with the Dawn Guard and complete more of their quests. Uh, I don't really know whereabouts uh, it will fork um, at the minute, but I'm just kind of going with the flow. Um, the quests so far have been really interesting. There have been a lot of new uh, and different elements. I, I'm trying to say this without giving too much away. Um, it's not just the standard go here, pick up something. You actually find things that are really interesting and you continue from there and then it just spirals into this really kind of magical uh, vampiric storyline which is really really intriguing. New gameplay aspects. So crossbows was one of the new additions to the game that everyone was really excited about um, and they really do live up to their expectation. So far I have only found one type of crossbow, uh, just called crossbow. Um, the bolts you use are steel bolts, so maybe there are other types but I haven't found any yet. They stay loaded when you're running around in Skyrim so it makes for a really easy quick fire. Um, when you draw your crossbow you can just fire it off straight away. Also the reloading animation is nice and solid, it feels very fluid and real. Uh, when you fire it off, it has a very satisfying noise that it makes when you send a bolt out uh, into your enemies. It sounds very different than firing a bow, uh, as it should really, but yeah, it's really good, really satisfying when you fire a crossbow. So the main new gameplay feature is the addition of the Vampire Lord transformation. Just talk a little bit about that and my first impressions. So just to clear a few things up and tell you a bit about it, you can change at will anytime you like. Um, and you can change back, and you don't have to wait to it be. Uh, you don't have to wait for another day. It's not a day power. You can just transform in and out whenever you like and wherever you like. I have had problems fitting through certain doors and things like that, so that's something to look out for. 
Also, the animation of changing into a vampire is slightly less responsive than the werewolf. Um, I don't know whether that will be fixed, but it's just it takes a few seconds to get it going. Just another small negative, and it is really small. Um, when you undergo your vampire lord transformation, it looks very cool and epic. You're transforming, and then you kind of burst through your skin at the end. Uh, and the noise it makes is somewhat underwhelming. It kind of makes every squishy noise. It just sort of goes bleh. And it just kind of draws away from the whole experience and makes it not very epic. But, like, a few milliseconds after that, there is a big roar, which does fortify how powerful you really are. So that's the negatives out of the way. Um, so gameplay experience. You can kind of shift into two forms. You can either use the left stick and fight on the ground using your claws with right and left trigger, um, similar to a werewolf style. Or you can use your spells where you click the left stick and you kind of hover and you can use your left hand to revive things and your right hand to drain the life. I mean, it's your drain life spell that gets your vampire perks up. And it looks really good. The animations are very smooth. Uh, it looks like you're doing a lot of damage. The sound is really cool when you're doing some melee action. Melee um, attacks aren't that powerful. And when you start off, your drain life is really, really powerful. So definitely use that more. Um, but yeah, it makes for a really enjoyable experience. It's quite simple in the way that you can't equip any different spells. It's just purely drain life in the right hand um, and a revive spell on the left. But it really works. Just another thing to add, um, although you can't change the spells that you're using in your right or left hand, you do get other abilities that you have access to as a vampire lord. For example, you can change into a swarm of bats and fly somewhere else, and you also unlock perks as you increase through the perk tree. So there are there is room for improvement and more abilities. New locations. So there are the two new uh, fortress locations, um, and they have a small area around them, which is also a new addition. So for example, Fort Dawnguard um, is a, a completely isolated area. So you actually go through um, a kind of crack in the wall and get to uh, out to this big um, Fort Dawnguard area. I uh, haven't really explored much of it, and it's, it's not too big, but it just contains Fort Dawnguard. Um, so, yeah, just those two. I haven't been to the Soul Can yet, um, but I know that exists, I know it's quite big. Um, the game also adds lots of new uh, caves and things like that within the game, and they are quite substantial, and they look really good. The caves that I've been in so far look really well thought out um, and really interesting. New weapons. I've only been playing for a couple of hours so far, um, but I've already come across a few new weapons. The crossbow is one of the obvious additions. You get that uh, almost instantly after you start the quest, so as soon as you enter Castle Dawnguard or Fort Dawnguard, they give you one and just tell you to use it. Uh, it has very high damage, um, slightly slow to reload, uh, and gives you um, and has a knockback effect on the enemies. I've also come across a few Dawnguard weapons. So there's the Dawnguard War Axe, um, and I've seen a Dawnguard War Hammer. Uh, and they have a special ability that they do slightly more damage against vampires. So very useful if you want to side with the Dawnguard and fight the vampires. So that was my short review of the new Skyrim DLC, Dawnguard. Uh, I'm sorry if some of the information is wrong, but I have only played it for a couple of hours, and I really wanted to tell everyone about the experience and first impressions I had really, so hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please stay tuned. I'll probably do a complete uh, review um, after I've played a lot more, um, and we'll be getting some screenshots and gameplay in there as well, so look out for that. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, please comment, like, um, or subscribe. Uh, thanks again. I'll see you next time, guys.